Bye. Yo paseaba sola por la calle, sacando fotos a los monumentos. La típica extranjera con un área extraña, que quiere en entera toda la ciudad. De pronto y a la vuelta de una esquina, con una de muchachito, con cara de inocente, aire formalito, se ofrece como día ver la ciudad. Pedro, 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 prácticamente en medio de Santa Fe. Pedro, 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 lo demostraré. Menudo formal, chachito. Pero na 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 na. Me ha probado un monte bote a ver el estele, pero no he visto ni. Niente di Santa Fe, Pedro, 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 il mejor di tutta Santa Fe, Pedro, 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 menudo Pedro, Pedro, oh la Raffaella, ovunque tu sia, grazie Raffaella, grazie Raffaella Carrà, sei bravissimo Omar, hola a todos y bienvenidos a este día que aún es un poquito triste porque Rafaela no está uh, aquí más pero muchas gracias thank you so much Rafaela for all the amazing song happiness and your your beauty and your hair is so nice and so blonde like Rafaela <laughs> right she likes to be so blondy and a straight hair it's not a Really the same but quite similar. <laughs> oh, but you are a surprise. <laughs> no, I was sorry. I was very Uh, play guitar and sing at the same time. I'm so touched. We are celebrating uh, one of the most amazing sugar, Italian sugar, that yesterday left mm -hmm. us. It was so famous in Italy, in Spain, in, in South America, everywhere. So thank you so much, Raffaella. Ciao, mamma. <laughs> She was my mother. My first love. My first love, yeah. Monica. I you have know, to tell you. She was uh, the favorite one of my father. She uh, he was really in love with Rafaela Carra all the time. <laughs> Now oh. she had her uh, her age if you want, but she was a symbol in Italy, really. All the <laughs> do you know Rafaela Carra, friends? Uh, yes, I, I'm sure you do. <laughs> Hello, Pepe, Cora, Danca, Patti, Paula. Hola, sì. Wow, buon dia. Isabella. Patricia, Cindy, ciao Cindy, Isabel, Monica Aurel, ciao, Rosalina, hola, buongiorno Roberta, Cristal, buenas tardes. Con i codici, le traduzioni, che ci sono, aiutano, grazie tante, per fortuna ci sono, bene, con i codici, con tanti aiuti. Bonjour de France. France. Hello, bonjour de France. Gloria, from Canada. Gloria. Hi, Gloria, how are you? Hello, Serena. Good night, Australia. Tina, ciao, ciao, Australia. Oh, yes, Patricia, we are very sad for Rafaela Gamba. We have to be grateful uh, that we had those amazing artists that really. Uh, Really give us a lot of good things, and I will go on playing her song all day long. To celebrate. <laughs> I want to... yes, here we are again in this uh, very hot day in summer. <laughs> so, here we are for a new project. But first of all, Omar, what should we have to remind uh, to our friends? Remember to love each other yes Especially share in the video <laughs> yes, right. share the video compartir the video you can win the pizza box you can win the win a pizza box Excellent. now from now voting the new hairstyle of monica paluta to me it's a 10 it's a 10 monica you're so beautiful <laughs> Wow, thank you, thank you. I've just had it, so it's really new. Yes. <laughs> I made it this morning. So blonde. 
Mit, mit. Buenos días, México. Hola. Hola. Yes, a complete artist, Omar. You can make everything. No, I just don't. I just don't care if I can do something. I just do it. <laughs> what means enjoying life? <laughs> Try to do everything we like. <laughs> That's good. Debra, South Africa, present. Blanche, hola, amor, hola, amor. <laughs> Monica, sei bellissima, grazie tesoro. Very beautiful, Monica. Monica. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. I also made, a, of course, the necklace for you every time. I remember, then I explained to you what's that. Ecco, sei bellissima, Monica. E la giuro. Oh, grazie, Roberta. Davvero, sì, mi piace molto. È il mio colore preferito, il blu. Così abbronzata, with tan, it's amazing. This blue, also the necklace, everything. Mira la Pepi già con la pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Pepi, amo de pizza. Pepi, hoy, hoy è un dia molto importante. Teniamo Italia. España, el partido de, 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 de fútbol. Esta noche, sí, es muy importante. Madre mía, Mónica, ¿qué ha hecho? Está radiante, Marta, te dice. Oh, 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 gracias, Marta. Muy gentil, gracias. Mm. What more did you use in your necklace, Mónica? Tada, I have the code. <laughs> This time I have the code. It's an incredible day. GA494. This is from uh, Passion, Passion Range. Passion. So we are on Passion. Passion, rice paper, Passion, Passion, Passion. Yeah. We are passionate people, <laughs> really. <laughs> Greeting from Slovakia, Atis. Hello, buena, buenas dia, Katrina. Canaria, hello, Canary Island. Wow, Canary Island, I love it. Yeah. Canary Island. Oh, ma il partito ti adoro, te dico. Oh, il partito, ahí, no sé, no sé, por, porque Italia, España, te ya he dicho, tengo el corazón partido en dos. <laughs> Sería un... Madre mía. Support, eh, eh. You are supporter of Italy or Spain, Omar. <laughs> <laughs> Monica, I, I I don't know. I don't know. We, I, we will watch the um, the football match here in my house with the mix friend, it, Italian friend, Spanish friend. So, win uh, <laughs> migliore, do we the best win? Yeah, this right. is. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> we have just won for uh, from uh, Belgium, so we are full of energy, is Italy. <laughs> Buenas tardes desde, desde Sevilla. Hola, hola, Scrapera. Hola, Mila. Hola, Mila. Hola, hola. Un beso. Ahora, ¿cómo? We start with Rafael Acara. Now, I want to know in which country, because you know, we have people from all around the world, from Australia, Mexico, everywhere. So, let me know in the comment if you know my divine Rafael Acara. If, if it was famous in your country as it was in mine. I, I really want to know how is worldwide my Rafael. <laughs> I'm sure South America and Spain, that's sure. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Yes, yes, I know the window. Mm -hmm. Okay, Marion, good evening. So, ah, ah, ya, mira, ya, y ahora estamos. ¿Te acuerdas con John Pepe que decía? Ahí, mira, un día estaremos en Italia, España. Aquí estamos el día de hoy, el día de hoy, vamos. So, mo, ah, mira, aquí en Panamá, en Panamá, la amamos. Ah, Rosario. En Panamá. Sí, sí, porque... Está muy famosa, realmente en Italia, después se ha vuelto se, en, en España y después también muy famosa en todo el mundo porque tiene un montón de, de canciones en español, canta en español y fue Exacto. un éxito increíble, un icono, un icono mundial, Rafael. Luchadora por los derechos de las mujeres, she was fighting for the women rights, you have to be free, you have to make love, so be uh, the owner of your body, And she make a lot also for the LGBT community. She was amazing. Oh, uh, for Italia, I did. Now it was the game. And we got good. Costa Rica. 
Marina. Anche in America, in America. Okay. Ah, she sing with uh, Sinatra. Guarda. No. Okay. Ah. Incredible. Ah, era da Rave, Raffaella. Era <ride> Cosa di... <ride> Sì, è vero. Poi era talmente... <ride> Catherine, para ser el amor, para ser bien el amor, hay que venir al sur, cantaba la sala. Toma. Aquí estamos, en el sur, y el amor se hace al, al beso, de hostia. Uh, en Rumanía también estaba famosa. Ah, uh, en Rumanía. Ok, very famous all around. Sorry, I just keep these 10 minutes to talk about my me, but yes, it was... A sad I, day for me. Knows. Everybody knows. <laughs> Agapi, very famous. Oh, everywhere, everywhere. All sing <laughs> Greek. <laughs> so happy. Monica, what we are going to do today, me and you and all our friends? So, uh, today we are working on uh, 3D, 3D effects. So, you know that I like 3D, so 3D in different uh, techniques. And we'll uh, learn, we'll see together how to arrange uh, this uh, tag, this tag, wooden tag, with uh, passion rice papers, only rice papers. So, I chose a couple of them, which is this one with the vine and then this one with the roses. And let's see how to work and play with them. So I don't have uh, a project already done, but you know me already. Yeah, I know you know. Together. <laughs> so. Hey, Monica, there's, there's a there's a painting behind you. It it was from the live of Saturday. Uh, yes, of course. We made uh, Donatella and me. We made a live on Monica's canvases of last uh, um, of last uh, range of papers. And this is what I made during the lesson, during the live, which was, which is with rice paper and uh, jewels, icon inks, and mix technique that worked with the fluid gloss, fluid gloss. Mm -hmm. so, so they work perfectly with the glue, fluid gloss. They dry perfectly with the fluid gloss. So it was a technique that we found out together. So if you missed the live, check it out because Donatella and Monica make. Two amazing work. So Donatella made a very nice work uh, with Medusa paper. Very, very mm -hmm. nice. Um, ciao, Samantha. Ciao, Samantha. Ciao, ciao. And ciao. new Monica Rice paper are coming out. Vamos con flamenco, con flamenco. Todas a bailar. All together. I, I speak about it. I would like to show you the project, but I can't. I have to wait. So, <laughs> grazie Roberta, è vero. Si chiama Nike questa carta, vero Roma? L'hai chiamata tu così. <laughs> Nike. <laughs> la vittoria, la vittoria, the victory. Nike, Nike come guarda the paint. I love, I love to give strange name to, to the paper I design. Uh, I dedicate it to my mother, I dedicate it to my, some friends. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there are some... Uh, you know, all, all the studies, the, the literature, literature study that I made coming, <laughs> somehow coming back. The new Monica uh, paper are, have two names. One is La by Laura and the other one is Carmen. Uh, by Laura is a Spanish term who uh, uh, identified the dancer, flamenco dancer. It's a specific name for flamenco dancer. This is something I discovered here in Spain. Okay. Okay, so, let's see. I, can... I cannot show you anything about these new papers, but you will see. You will see. We'll have fun together again in September when we start again with the lights and everything. So, I we'll promise see. also, I will, I will, I promise, Monica, I will give some, I make some uh, scrap with the, your new line, the, the dancer line. I will, my friends tell, I want to make something. Okay, let's make it together. So very soon, Monica, you will have a new teacher, new students. That's great. <laughs> Who never, never craft. And I say, please, but I but I never craft. And they say, it's perfect, don't worry. With me, Monica, My you job. are perfect. It's, it's yeah. better because you can really enjoy it. Beginners, uh, find, uh, find out different and new things. Yes, why not? Let's see, let's see. That's good. Let's start. Arrancamos, amigas.
Vamos, vamos con vamos el poste de aire. Lo que vamos a hacer hoy. Vamos a ver. Sí, no sí. Un ataque de madera. Y lo que vamos a hacer antes de todo es pasar un poco de primer. So a little coat of primer, very, very uh, small and thin. Especially here in the center. So let's use the primer. So normal primer. I normally use on smooth surfaces. This time it's a porous surface. So why should we use it on a porous surface? Because I'd like to have a white surface. So with a, for a white surface, I'd rather start on a... <laughs> <laughs> you know what um, I have for this? I have this uh, thin... <laughs> Teens opener. <laughs> yeah, they say right. A small tag, Monica. Yes, we have a really small tag today. <laughs> yeah, small tag, a very tiny small tag. <laughs> no, I see that many people like to make small albums, small things, but Monica like really huge project. This is not a mini tag, it's a big one. <laughs> no, if you can see actually, uh, well, maybe I should. Danka, che tamaño tiene il tag? How big is the tag? I very, very you. big, Danka. <laughs> Huge, <laughs> muy grande. This tag is exactly 44 and a half. Four. La prilattina, sì, guarda, se non avessi quello, Roberta, non riuscirei più a aprire niente. Per 22 and a half per 44 and a half. Okay. Here we have the tag. Ta okay, bigger is better, Edina. Yeah. I, I'm yes, afraid. of course. <laughs> so let's take a sponge to put the primer on. Look, I do that. Which is quite easy and uh, actually also quick to do. Only to whiten the surface. I don't need the primer here to uh, for any other purpose, but only to whiten the surface. Okay, not uh, even very well, but especially like this, a little bit in the middle, a little bit here, a little bit here, mm -hmm. okay. and that's all for the moment. Okay, now primer is over, and let's take a so sponges always after using into water all the time because otherwise uh, we uh, will have to throw them away. So that's important to put into water quite immediately. Mm -hmm. So now let's take this beautiful paper I love, which mm -hmm. is from uh, uh, the range of uh, Dorota, uh, Dorota papers, mm -hmm. EFSA. Four, five, three, eight. Mm -hmm. Allora, pregunta, tenemos pregunta, question. Es mejor aplicar el primer con esponja o con la brocha? It's better to apply primer with a sponge, with, with a sponge or with uh, the brush? So there are many ways to use the primer uh, with a brush. If you have a surface that you really need to cover completely, especially the corners, in this case, I only need to put a little bit of primer. So with a sponge, it is very, very practical. So uh, not precisely, but very practically speaking. Another way to use the, bra the sponge is dabbing like this. If you really want a bigger coat of product. So in this case, it's very light. So I do that in order make it very very quick Entonces, you... hemos usado la esponja solo porque es más rápido en este caso okay. solo por eso Así sí. no necesito una uh, uh, mucha cantidad una pequeña cantidad uh, entonces con el, la esponja es más fácil y práctico el, el ya está secado mira ya está secado hola lina hola lina un beso ah, es artista Cuatro nombres. <laughs> Voy a... El papel de arroz, carta de riso, rice paper, 
sì, so, sì. Monica, fammi vedere il retro di questa carta così. Chi non conosce il rice paper sa esattamente. Tirala, tiramela fuori dalla carta così vediamo proprio tutta la sua um, tessitura. Now, this is a rice paper. What is a rice paper? Ah, is a... Sorry, right. keep this paper because we need that. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a rice paper with a violin. So now stamperia rice papers have uh, really a great quality because the definition of uh, details is perfect, as you can see, even if it is very light paper. So thanks to the new techniques, uh, uh, now uh, stamperia makes this perfect rice paper. So they're very strong rice paper, very, very strong, very strong. <laughs> <laughs> and then very very well defined into the details okay so you can even treat in a bad way and uh, it's always good okay so don't worry if you treat it bad <laughs> okay okay let's now do that i don't want this part upward with this uh, um lace or better i don't want it now i will use it later so I take it away. So if you want to take away a part of a rice paper, you can use your fingers and especially you can do that. Look, wet it with a brush with water. This is water. So just wet it like this and then make this with your fingers. So it will be a little bit uh, more easier to tear off with your fingers if you wet it okay. Roberta dice mi ha preso un colpo non lo fare più Monica penso <laughs> si riferisce a quando scratch the rice paper ah, io, Roberta <laughs> no insomma diciamo che ormai le carte di riso ne conosco un po' eh, perché io le uso molto mi piacciono tanto perché hanno questa sono sottili per cui le puoi adattare su qualsiasi superficie. So you can adapt and fit your rice paper, rice papers also on different surfaces like uh, um, not flat ones, also rounded or shaped surfaces. It adapts perfectly on different. This is not our case as it is flat, but if I had a bottle or something in a different shape, rice paper is the perfect product you mean to cover. Yes. Back with. to basic. You know, the, the, <laughs> the old and always good rice paper. So what shall we do now? I uh, cut out roughly the violin. So I cut. I have to open the window, sorry, because it's very, so hot here. I don't know. Conditioning here. Mm -hmm. So very bad. So I cut out, you see, the violin, but I leave a couple millimeters more bigger, okay. as you can see. Mm -hmm. A little bit bigger than its size. Uh, vamos a cortar el violín con las tijeras, pero dejamos dos milímetros alrededor del violín. Quindi tagliamo a due millimetri dal violino. Sì. Beh. Two millimeters more than its size. Mm. You are right, Jim. I'm right. I'm thinking that Stamperia was the first to bring and make popular early on. Yes, yeah. you're right. We, um, our, our boss told me an amazing story of how, how he got the, one of the first rice paper, the good one, really good one, uh, many many years ago like 30 years ago she traveled to to china to find the perfect place where they can print an amazing rice paper so uh, absolutely yes tamperia was a pioneer in the rice paper yes right uh, i remember those times oh great <laughs> we made the trade fairs and everybody was really crazy for rice papers because they were so different from for example, for from napkins, napkins were popular, but they were so difficult to use as they broke and they broke easily. And they you had to make uh, the same work many times in order to have a good result. 
with the rice papers, these were changed. <laughs> so oh, you know, break, uh, you can press them, you can adapt to different uh, shapes and different bases. So everybody was really crazy for that. And the colors of Stampiga rice paper are amazing. And you can really work and play with it, absolutely. Espe. Le ha dado agua con pincel para que se rasgue más fácilmente. Sí, eh, Mónica explicó que se puede eh, cortar con las manos, así, o con el pincel y un poquito de agua por facilitar el corte. Vamos. Exactamente. Uh, ahora voy a pegar este papel así en el uh, medio del tag, más o menos. ¿eh? Así. Y también voy a poner esto. Mm. Annette, a stamperia started 30 years ago. I wasn't born, honestly. I wasn't born 30 years ago. Um, it's many, many years that stamperia is on the market. Uh, in the 80s, yes, in the 80s. Me and Monica weren't born. So <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we don't know exactly the years because we were. Yes. Any catalog is written actually. Uh, there is the history of some very uh, years. But anyway, I'm uh, with somebody uh, for many, many years as well. <laughs> so I take now a, a flat brush like this one, water first. Mix media glue. Mix il tappo, per favore, che se no oggi non, non ha l'assistente che ti dice di girare i tappi. Di solito è Roberta, eh, però. <laughs> sì, mix media glue. First, a little bit of glue first. Mix media glue. E mira, Marta tampoco abbia nascido nel 95. Venga, to, siamo todas <laughs> millennial, todas ventennes. <laughs> Not me. Okay. We have 25 years. All we are 25. Are, are you okay with 25 years, ladies? <laughs> uh, me, yes, of course, in my dreams. <laughs> okay, I put the paper and now only glue on top. Okay, only um, mix me the glue on top. So, which glues are good for rice papers? At the beginning, we only had uh, Velo glue, which is uh, still available with the new formula and which is great actually. And this new formula um, allows you really to glue rice paper perfectly with no wrinkles, no bubbles, anything, which is very, very good for rice paper. And people. also, always, we say that the mixed media glue is a perfect varnish for the rice paper also. Yes, as well. Mm -hmm. Roberta, Mika, 25 anni. Also, Roberta is 25 years today. <laughs> Somo a spiritual Lucky you. Lucky you. <laughs> Catherine, 44, con mucho orgullo. Brava, con mucho orgullo. Siempre, siempre, siempre con orgullo. Always, let years count. Every year is important. Uh, yes, but it's normal. Time has to, uh, to go right. on. Awesome. If stop to pass, it's worst. Uh, yes, <laughs> exactly. So... I glue first everything like this here and then let's make it dry alone. So you see that they press well, so don't worry about it, uh, about spoiling rice paper. Go over with the glue and the brush pressing very, very well. Yeah. We have a question from Jean, a personal one, and this is a very good occasion. If you, if you want to know better our teacher, please make a question and I will uh, read out to Monica. Did you go to the art college, Monica? <laughs> art college? No. <laughs> no, no, no art no. college for you, no? No. no. I made, uh, you know, at university, I studied languages uh, and literatures so <laughs> to teach, to teach especially. So you see that I uh, made different studies, but I started uh, for my my personal uh, pleasure. I started to study uh, arts, uh, and uh, I made so many courses. Then you know, my father was a painter, so I've always loved uh, these kind of words, uh, these kind of things uh, connected with uh, 
with arts. My passion was uh, has always been to go and visit uh, museums and uh, exhibitions of uh, arts. So this is always my passion. But I didn't. No, I didn't make any special uh, arts uh, college. No. No. Con carissima, io tengo más orgullo. Cita 73. Oh, Venga, yeah. brava. Muy bien. Yeah, That's great. <laughs> Ora, I take now the violin on this plastic, which was the uh, bag of the paper. I take the violin upside down, like this. And I take our friend uh, soft clay. Soft, mm -hmm. soft clay. And we still need a little bit of mixed media glue. Okay, I open it. Right. Mira, eh, rispondo un attimo a Espe. Eh, per buscare los productos, puede eh, utilizzar la la nostra pagina web di stamperia e hai tutti i prodotti, pegamento, papelle, papel di arroz, sello, marcos, moldes, lo che è. È molto semplice e per buscare tutto e vedere tutto lo che abbiamo in stamperia, perché abbiamo un montone di prodotti. Abbiamo tanti so prodotti che magari non usiamo tutti i prodotti che abbiamo in stamperia. Quindi, so, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's Let's take now the mixed media glue first on the violin, like this, on the upside down violin. I take uh, the uh, clay, so the soft clay, and I do this. I press, I press from the middle. So I don't put, first of all, hello from Florida, hello Gina. South Florida. I don't put uh, uh, all the glue at the beginning all together because it would dry. It's so warm, so it would dry so too fast. So I start this area. I stop. I put some other glue. I stop. And I now go on with the soft clay. I press in the middle. From Io non the posso, Monica, scusami, tutto tu su. Ah, perfetto, bravo. Muy bien. Ah, Marta pregunta, ¿puedo usar la colla velo? Sí, ciertamente, se puede, sí. Porque la colla velo es el pegamento, el primero que utilizamos con el, el papel de arroz. Y es siempre lo que es más adapto a la papel de arroz. ¿no? Pero uh, I prefer to use uh, now uh, mixed media glue because I also use mixed media glue for many other purposes. That's why, and which is also okay for rice paper. So if you only use rice paper, of course, why not only uh, the cola velo is perfect. Ahora vamos a usar la nuestra increíble soft clay que es super super ligera es very very light and it's perfect if you want to create some volume this is the technique that Monica uh, discovered uh, some some months some years ago to to make this amazing nice 3D with gluing um, yes and that you see now what I do, I try to spread the, the soft uh, clay till the edges of the, the paper. So I'm really uh, going also a little bit outside. So look, I spread it like this. So the most is in the middle. And then with your fingers, you try to make this to go till the edges. Um. Tanto arrivano complimenti in francese, Monica, we have compliments of France. Je vous en prie, Constance, c'est un plaisir pour moi. It's always interesting to see Monica working. That's true. <laughs> you are so kind, as usual. <laughs> so I'm spreading. 
and like this. And now, so I clean my fingers and then. Bon dia, Alda. Alda, ciao, amore. Carissima, Alda. Alda is coming back finally after a long vacation. <laughs> and hey, Alda, is <laughs> Alda is coming back very soon with me. Hey, if you want, you. Alda, just let me know if you want to stay live with me, Alda, and we will stay together. Okay. Yes, Alda is our fashion designer of bags and everything with hey. many things. She can make everything. Uh, now, Monica, you're using the water or no water? No, no, no. This is a, a mixed media glue all over to spread a little bit flatting the surface. You see, I make it come closer. I try to make it closer, uh, to make it flatter. And now I take my tag, I put it like this, upside down, okay. and, sorry, on the right side, because it's transparent so I can see where I go. I can see more. Yeah. Por eso necesitábamos del, de la hoja de plástico por eh, hacer este trabajo de forma así limpia y fácil. Y ahora tomamos el cepillo, un poco más limpio. <laughs> yes, Carla, Alda is coming back. <laughs> So now I'm working on this surface a little bit with the glue again to seal the edges also on top because it will protect, you know, that the mixed media glue also protects the paper. And, and dry and dry clear. And dry clear. And it is a hardener, so it will make them stronger, whatever you use. So also fabric, rice paper, whatever. Caroline, it's the first time I see this technique. We have many live with, with Monica. And talking about Monica, now we are coming back with real courses. So please, if you want Monica somewhere in the world, please just let us know. We put in a pizza box Monica and we send with the product. So you will have a pizza box with Monica inside. You open and you have Monica with all the products. So it's you know amazing. that I have to get slimmer. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to do. <laughs> A little bit of diet. <laughs> we, we always, <laughs> always are on a diet. <laughs> yes. But I'm successfully at my age. It's very, very difficult. <laughs> so you see, with the spatula now, I'm trying to clean the edges from the from the clay vamos and a limpiar lo alrededor del violino uh, quitando lo que sobra de la soft clay sí exactamente evidentemente there is a, a um, <laughs> there is a mixture of uh, all of languages today <laughs> and there is a small uh, edge which is white because of course now our violin as i made it uh, bigger the shape has become bigger in this way uh, the edge is evident is more evident you can see it now but we will hide after that so i'm cleaning from the paste and now i also take any brush from this side i try to shape it a little bit so that's why it's also better to have uh, mixed media glue also on this side because your tools will uh, slide uh, easier. Entonces vamos a crear más uh, 3D usando sí. el pincel y Mónica dice mejor tener la mixed media glue porque es mm, más fuerte como sí, el no se va. rompe. Mm. Uh -uh. Papel no se rompe. Eh, um, me, Monica, hay que adelgazar, hay que, you have to slim because they want in the pizza box. So you have to fit in the Stamperia pizza box that is like that. Diet. From now on is diet. Okay, no chocolate, no ice cream. No, no, no. No, no eating, Monica, to enter, to fit in the pizza box. <laughs> Even drinking. Uh, that's um, <laughs> very difficult, this one. <laughs> Not Prosecco, it's very hard. <laughs> 
<risa> As for you, sangría en Spain. ¿no? <risa> el tinto, ya he descubierto el tinto de verano. Ahí que me cae. Oh, el tinto. Así fresquito. Bueno. Mm, ahora será una buena idea. <risa> I love the technique. Yes, yes, we we have made many, many beautiful things applying the soft clay behind the rice paper. Really, uh, very, very nice idea. And Monica is the one who using the, the, the soft clay in many, many uh, revolutionary way, like mixing with pasta sculpture. So check it out, the profile of Monica. So I yeah. see. The, so uh, some uh, videos, if I'm not wrong, uh, Omar, with this uh, technique. Uh, there, uh, yes, if I remember well, we made uh, once. Uh, you remember corn in this uh, way? We made a unicorn in 3D with rice yeah. paper with this yeah. technique. Many years ago, Monica. Many many years ago. Yeah. But you remember that you were with me and we were working together in this video yes <laughs> the three is unicorn i think the video is still available check out also on youtube because yes. we have many many tutorials still available on youtube from everyone from sarah from christina uh from monica so many many things in the youtube channel of stamperia tenemos un montón de video in the youtube de stamperia Yes, sometimes, you know, also all videos can be over. Cindy, I made the unicorn with you, Cindy. <laughs> really? Ah, also. <laughs> ah, with me, yes. We were in the States, uh, Cindy. Is that right? We were in a trade fair in uh, in uh, in uh, Phoenix. I think yeah. in Phoenix. Yes. But yeah. But regarding the, of course, we don't put Monica in a pizza box, but it's true that we are organizing the, the courses again. <laughs> again. So please, now we are collecting people. They say, please uh, send us an email, your country and, and the, the teacher of Stamperia you would like to have in your country. And we will organize amazing course. We want to travel and see each other again very soon. I'm now going to tear off, uh, friends, this uh, uh, paper also, which is uh, uh, the A3 size uh, uh, paper, because I'm trying to uh, fill a little bit this uh, area with this paper. So a little bit. So I tear off this part. One like this here and one piece uh, here. Caroline Wilson is asking, Monica, how long it takes to dry? In quanto se va a secar? Creo que están hablando de la... De la de, soft plate. De la soft plate, sí. yeah. soft plate necesita uh, um, 24 hours to completely dry. But you can go on with finishing your work uh, uh, with no problems at all. You can paint on it, uh, no problem. So just uh, uh, to have it uh, hard, you need completely 24 hours. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like and sure love your work, Monica. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Saira, oh, ma indica mi el sitio de Stamperia, por favor. Ay, que sí. www.stamperia.com Muy sencillo. Ahora lo voy a escribir aquí www.stamperia, que se escribe sin e, estamperia, no, stamperia.com. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm gluing this couple of pieces of papers here. Always I try to make uh, the edges irregular. So I, uh, all the time I prefer Okay. Then. Ah, ah, Marta, esta pregunta dice, mm, Monica, ¿podría usar la rosa de papel de scrap? Aquí, uh, sí, pero estará un poco más alta, porque esta es uh, muy fina. Y mm. el scrap es un poco más alta. Pero su, una uh, superficie como esta, que es plata, uh, ¿por qué no? Sí, puede ser. 
si tiene una superficie que no es completamente aplateada como esta, es un poco más difícil. Y sí. la, nos enseña, Mónica, tenías una técnica especial por pegar el papel de scrap, mojándolo. Hay que mirar otro live de Mónica, porque lo hemos hecho muchas veces, esta técnica de, de Mónica, por pegar el papel de scrap. Sí, verdad. Porque es mejor de mojarlo en el agua antes de pegarlo. En esta manera serás más fácil de eh, no hacer muchas, uh, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, uh, Constant, you make a tutorial video. Constant, I cannot do it. I do, I, do uh, I prefer to stay here. But I promise, I promise, when the new Monica Rice Paper will come out, I will do some tutorial also with you. I'm sure. No, also one, two, three, four, some roses as well. But I show you immediately what I'm going to do with these roses. Okay, so this is a couple of leaves. Okay, and these ones mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, glue where on my beloved. Stone paper. Oh, uh, no, Monica, I have to take my stone paper now. So you can see two different ways of making 3D effects. Uh, how? With shapes like the violin, as the violin has a round shape, a rounded shape, it's better to use soft clay. In case of flowers, which has petals, and you need to move them a little bit more, I suggest you to glue the rice paper flowers on uh, stone paper. Oh. So let's use uh, the same technique. So water and glue before. Oh. Rice oh. paper. Wow. Stone paper and rice paper are like, I don't know, banana and chocolate are... <laughs> Uh, we cannot live without. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tamar. The new race paper by Monica. Stunning. Yeah, full of energy, full of colors. And we will play uh, with those flamenco girls a lot together. I'm really eager to do uh, that with you, friends. So let's wait. Set and you have, the, you have the project done already. Already, yes, but I cannot show you. Or, <laughs> we can't. It's a surprise for this autumn. <laughs> so let's wait. When you tell me I can, I will do that, uh, Omar. You will tell me. Okay. You. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm very eager to see. I uh, quiero ver el trabajo de, de Monica con los nuevos papeles. Uh -huh. um, Yo amo el flamenco. Mm. I me encanta flamenco. I love flamenco. Just because we are thinking about memories, Omar, I remember one of uh, uh, the trade fairs I used to make uh, years and years ago. One of my successful works uh, were at the trade fairs, my big canvases, because I used to make canvases of uh, 40 by one meter with uh, already 10 years ago with, uh, with Spanish, big Spanish girls made uh, with pastes, uh, with everything. And uh, everybody want to make, wanted to make them at the trade fairs. I remember painting these big canvases and I had so many people asking for that. So it was something that I was uh, in love already many, many years ago, this uh, subject of uh, these kind of dancers. <laughs> Omar duerme con le stone paper. <laughs> Omar duerme. <laughs> Your blanket is a stone paper. Stone paper. So they want you in New Zealand. Please come to visit over here in New Zealand. Bring your beautiful rice paper and beautiful people with you. Elizabeth, uh, me and Monica are ready to come to New Zealand oh, yeah. now. <laughs> Actually. Prepare the suitcase. <laughs> I don't know if, if the, the weather is good now in New Zealand. It's because oh, probably, it? probably it's uh, winter there now, I guess. Uh, it's winter, yes. I, I think so. Oh. 
Sometimes also I'm uh, making some courses in for South American, and actually I've seen that in Bolivia, in Peru, it's winter now. It's winter they, now. They wear scarves uh, and wool things, and I say, oh, what are We you? made the live with Mila, and I was in my terrace, or uh, so really? hot, and she was <laughs> oh, <laughs> over. Okay. Very, absolutely. <laughs> That's interesting to see this. <laughs> okay, I'm no. cutting out uh, what I glued uh, on the stone paper. Okay. Mm. Chambéry. Je connais uh, Chambéry. J'étais, j'étais aussi. Uh, vous savez, avec le train, ça passe uh, de l'Italie pour aller à Lyon. Ça passe par là. Donc, je connais. <laughs> Una clase de sevillanas, ah, me encanta. Hacemos un taller andaluzo. Mónica, vente para acá, vente para acá. Vente pa acá. Come here. Ah. But like in a, in a kind of, of slang, uh, Andalusian, Andalusian slang. Ah, vente para acá, baila. Sí, because here they, they, they cut the, the words. Words, really? Ah, now you know, because you are... Yeah, they... They don't pronounce the S, they don't pronounce many letters. Uh, <laughs> so I have, I have I have to learn the, the original Spanish and not the dialect. Because you know that actually Spanish for Italian is quite easy, but it's not an, e an easy language. <laughs> the grammar and the slang are so... Yeah, I see England people here, they, they suffer a lot to, to learn uh, Spanish, yeah. Compared, of course, to to Italians, it's, it's much more difficult. Uh, yes, I know. Well, let's uh, now take uh, so the colors. First of all, I close my. También en Panama es ve pa acá en Panama. En Panama ve pa acá. So now our roses, the stone, the, the rice paper now glued on the stone paper, make these roses eternal. They they will live forever because stone paper, I think, is the most resistant uh, product that we have in Stamperia. So after that, you can really do everything you want with your roses, and and also Monica uh, teach us how to emboss and give volume to the the rice paper glue it on stone paper. So, you know, we have many, many lives, many, many tricks from Monica that it's always good to be connected every day with Stamperia and to watch the previous live. Thank you, Maestra. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> so now I'm taking some ivory color, which is quite finished, but okay. Ivory, okay, L. 12. Now I'm approaching to the same colors of the paper. So let's take a little bit of Torroncino. Torroncino is a 53 color. Torroncino. Then, but I will write here. So let's take a pen and I will write this color 12. This is 53. Then let's take uh, the Bruno color, which is always very difficult to understand. I don't know the, 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 the number because I covered it with other color, but I write it here, Bruno. Okay, and put it here. Okay. Marta, como? El cenicero, verdad, de verdad? Por favor, di en italiano cenicero. Me encanta saber. Cenicero, ¿qué es? Cenicero, cenicero. Cuarta cenere. Ah, cuarta cenere. <risa> Te encanta, ¿por qué? No, mira, tengo amigas españolas que cuando, no sé, yo digo, ah, mira, en italiano se dice así. Me miran y me dicen, ay, qué bonito que suena en italiano todo. Eso no es verdad. Eso lo... <risa> Como cosa cenere. When I was in London, everybody was uh, asking, uh, were continuously asking me to tell this word in Italian, which is giubino. And they laughed it. They started to laugh. When I say giubino, they laugh. I don't know why. <laughs> so I take a standardino brush now. 
And I start. Oh, this is number is 43. Vieni un po' più a destra, Monica. Sì. Così almeno ti... Ecco, vediamo, vediamo, no, a destra, così vediamo la tavolozza, eh, se lo sai che è al contrario. Ecco, eh, così vediamo anche i colori. Mm, no, we can see the colors. Ok, place here. Ok. And now I paint everything which is with anything here. So mm -hmm. let's take out what's there, here, which is in excess. Ok. And this palette that is using Monica is a product, of course, from Stamperia. And it's, it's stupid things, but it's not, it's not that. It's very, very useful because you have multiple sheets that you can tear off. So you use and, and, and you don't have... That is a KR93. <laughs> the, the, the palette. So this is the palette. The, the, we have multiple sheets sheets like this very plastic because you use and then you and you don't have to, you don't have to wash monica because i have to wash everything my house my clothes my my plates but it's a waste of water <laughs> washing colors of course exactly. so let's take the color and i do that color and stamp it ah it's coming to the hearts monica lluvia de corazones hurts me for my beloved beautiful blonde monica Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much. Hola, Pepi. Mira la Pepi. Está aquí. Me encanta. So, remember, the, don't use any water, any water with the Sandarino brush now. Mm -hmm. You see that if I mix these colors, I always have the right one. Even the blue, which is the blue avio, mixed with a little bit of uh, this uh, torroncino color, it makes really what I need here. You see? So it's a question of mixing these colors and making, that, making them also lighter with ivory, for example. But we really get the same color. No, estamos usando agua. Eh? No, no, estamos usando agua standardino a secco. Un exacto Blanche. Che amor che eres Blanche. Io <laughs> sempre lo commento. <laughs> ah, Blanche ci aiuta tantissimo. Eh? Sì. Tenemos una comunità, una famiglia in stamperia, Monica. Sì. Che è mia. Guarda, mi emoziona. Io non chiedo mai a mia famiglia verdadera. <laughs> Io solo chiedo la di stamperia. Molto meglio. Non hai pelea, non hai problema, solo hai sorriso, solo hai amor. <laughs> I decided to abandon my original family to be totally part of the Stamperia family because as I was telling now, we don't argue, everything is fine, we have a lot of love, lots of friends. So. <laughs> They never complain, our never friends. They complain. <laughs> oh, listen, your mother, listen, your father, listen, your sister. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Solo amor. Solo amor e, e creatività. Non voglio cambiare. Mi famiglia originale, non ma solo la famiglia di Stamperia. Dove sempre hai arco iris. Ora Vilma sarà abbrabbiatissima con te. Uh, non è che se mi sta sentendo la signorina. No, non c'è Vilma oggi. Vilma, dove sei? Bellissima. Era stanca. Era stanca oggi. Era stanca. But my mother wants really, I showed the paper, the paper of the dancer, and uh, she said that she liked a lot. And I promised that we will make together, me and my mother, some craft with your new paper, Monica, and we will have ah, lots of fun together. A lot of fun. Just uh, now I'm thinking how to make uh, the skirt of the dancer 3D. I think I will watch some of your old video to to mix maybe one idea from here, one from there, and create something, something special. Wow, va bene, ma sono molto curiosa di vedere cosa fai. Yeah. Ah, fantastico, non sicuro. Come si intera la mamma? No, che mia madre parla solo italiano, my mother speak only Italian, so I can speak bad in English, in Spanish. Ti amo mamma, ciao mamma. <laughs> Little bastard. Beato, sei fortunato che hai ancora la tua mamma. <ride> sì, 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 sì. Bella vispa anche. 
Ah, che bellezza Monica, sì, piano piano stiamo eh, uniformando il fondo. Little by little we are creating uh, the perfect connection for, with the background and with standard in technique. Yes. But now I'm also taking a stencil, which is a stencil that I love, which is this one. Mm -hmm. But now let's go with the Toto stencil. <laughs> <laughs> Toto stencil code to find out the code of this paper. Because I'm going to reduce it like this here with a little bit of a Vivace Oro Rosso Metallico. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're searching for the code of this stance. Yeah, first of all, this is a prototype, I guess, or, or I just lose the we lose the, the package. And we are using the Vivace. Vivace is a different line of acrylic color that very creamy, very thick, and tiny uh, compared to the Allegro, that is the, the best seller of Stamperia. We have the acrylic line that is more uh, thick more more um, glossy entonces es perfecta por obtener algunos efectos estamos usando la vivace la línea allegro vivace siempre con el estandarino eh, no mojano eh? siempre seco mm, bueno que empare el francés me oui j'adore la francés j'adore parler francés <laughs> Oui, on peut parler français aussi, donc on utilise le mouchoir oui, oui. avec la vivace or doré et le, euh, le pinceau, le standard non, le pinceau euh, très sec, pas d'eau. Très joli, c'est très joli. Mm -hmm. And let's go over like this. And so you can move this stencil in different ways, which is what I like of this stencil. Very versatile. Okay. I also put a little bit of ivory into it, not to make it too strong. Okay. <laughs> Marta nos gusta la palabra standardino. <laughs> Así, standardino. Así se escribe Marta. Muy bien, muy bien. Hola Silviettina mía, hola Silvia y Mónica desde el frío de Uruguay. Un abrazo gigante para los dos. Nos vemos pronto también con Silvia. Vuelve, dopo una larga vacaciones, vuelve Silvia. Muy bien. Ok, and now I'm taking the angular brush with the This time I use Mogano, 59, 59, 59. Mettimi di nuovo la palette nella camera. Because 59, uh, Mogano is uh, a, a closer to our violin color. So a little bit. Monica, spostati tutto verso sinistra. Ora facciamo così. Eh, brava, ecco, un po' più così, almeno vediamo la palette dei colori. Sì. Molto bene. Bene. di San Monica, prezioso questo progetto. Tu buio, Mila, beautiful. Roberta, che parla tutte le lingue del mondo, anche il francese. Ci aiuta anche lei. Okay, so I'm filling the white edges left by the, um, the 3D effect. So now this white part is disappearing with a little bit of mahogany with the Bruno color. You see? So you so don't see. Mahogany and the Bruno color make the shadows of our violin and masking the white uh, axis of the soft clay we use at the beginning. I'm right. Okay. So, and it's making even stronger this effect of 3D with the shadow, of course. 
Okay, let's go. Now with a little bit of this also on the edges, I like. With the same color? The same organic color. Mm -hmm. I like to finish uh, a little bit the edges of the tag. A little bit like this. Always with the angular brush. Mira, Erika te dice, la integración de colores es fundamental y aprender eh, a, a través de es lo que importa. Esa es una gran clase. Claro, es una técnica que hay que aprenderla. Así, de Mónica, todo parece muy, muy sencillo. Poco a poco, pero es una técnica muy importante de, de integrar los papeles, que sea de arroz, que sea de, de scrap, con el fondo. Y... Y, y se puede aprender poco a poco con el estandarino brush y a, eh, la técnica de pincel seco, siempre. Ok, ahora vamos a poner las flores en tridimensionalidad. Entonces tenemos las flores que hemos hecho sobre, eh, encima del papel del salt paper. Son ¿Mm? paper. Indestructible. I have this piece of stone paper from 25 years. I was born with this. <laughs> okay. Ahora vamos a cortar antes de todos las uh, hojas. Separamos las hojas. ¿Me la vamos a utilizar? Sí. Sí, vamos a utilizar. Ah, vamos. Porque no estira es nada. Rosa, porque se están detrás de la rosa. Vamos a cortarlas de manera de hacer más el efecto de la tridimensionalidad. Yes, yeah, so we are cutting out the, the leaf, but we will use later to make even more 3D effect. Okay. <laughs> I was taking this, but this is not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello, Linda from Quebec, Canada. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Quebec. It's cold there? No, I don't think so. It's cold now. It's, it's summer there. I'm separating a little bit uh, some petals, you see? Mm. So these petals. You will understand why it is. So let's make some cut. Vamos a cortar para dentro cada pétalo un poquito. No todos, pero algunos. Así, de manera de hacer este efecto, mira. Un poco más. Así. Ajá, por doblarla. So we're cutting to fold them a little bit and create more. Ah. And how you keep it together? Uh, with the glue. And uh, um, I prefer in this case using the, um, to make it uh, quicker with the hot glue. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have already prepared. So it's summer in Canada. And this, it will be more 3D. This time, yeah. it, it's enough one cut here, you see. Yeah. Come closer to the camera, please. This is like this. If I do this movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally understand. And, and the stone paper is moldable. You see how Monica can mold? La stone paper se puede moldear con las manos, como está haciendo ahora Mónica. Se puede mo modelar. Me perdo el italiano, Mónica. Un casino. Un <laughs> casino. <laughs> yes, sir. I was talking with, with my brother, uh, and sometimes I put some Spanish word in the middle. And of course, he was thinking, why you, you want to show me that you speak spanish but it's not like that it's just an, <laughs> i don't <laughs> the italian words not coming anymore it's a question of brain <laughs> because it's used to a language now and it's difficult to go back <laughs> super clever idea which is susan blake yes easily and very very nice wow carpet and uh, I take a, a, um, a tool, an embossing tool, like this one, and I do that on the uh, upside down. I do this uh, just to make it a little bit more um, 
move in the shape mm -hmm. like this so there is in this special tool if you don't have monica says you can use uh, a the brush back the back of the brush but this uh, it's a little bit smaller oh, it's the perfect one and we are using a sponge surfaces if you and also monica say if you don't have uh, this sponge you can use your mouse pad or or something that it's or it's felter a big a thick yeah. piece of felter felter is perfect that's what Viva lo stone paper, uh, Anisa Ver. Ya, yeah. viva lo stone paper. Es increíble. Ahora es la mm, la pistola de calor. No, la está la silicona. Pistola silicona. Okay, pistola silicona. Voy a poner las flores un poco así. Hacemos una composición antes. Así. Así. Muy bien. Las hojas son al final. Mira las hojas. Ah, ya. Abbiamo le foglie da usare, Mónica. Certo. Pero prima incoliamo i fiori. Ok. Fiori, fiori. Così. Va bene. Mira, pongo un poco de pegamento así, así, y así, así. Y las flor y ya se mueve. Mira, es más natural. Así. Ahora. La pepi, ya corazón y pizza. <laughs> ah, yes, Jean. You can use your end of your scissor to form a shape too. Brava, Jean. Brava, Jean. Brava. Oh, yes, of your ah, yes. Right. Everything is strong enough. You mean this part? Actually. Yes. yes. That's right. Good idea. I was wondering who uh, among our friends who are following us today who has already won a pizza. Can we ask them? I'm oh, that's a good idea. Brava, Monica. So, ladies and gentlemen, but the gentlemen, I don't know if we have the winner of the pizza box by the gentleman. But anyway, who won the pizza box? Chi ya e ganado la pizza box? Por favor, dice yo, yo, yo. Okay. Vamos a ver cuánta gente ya ha recibido nuestra pizza box. Let's see how many people receive our pizza box. Every Monday we announce the winner of the pizza box with Giovanni we, in the live of Monday. To win the pizza box, you have just to like and share the video of Santeria. So, much more video you share and like, much more chance you have to win a pizza box. Uh, pizza, pizza. Who won yesterday? May, you are right. Yesterday, let me see if I still have the image of the pizza. I have one uh, here. I hope it's the correct one or I make some mistakes. Let me wait for some. Carla Martinez. Carla Martinez. You want the pizza box? No, yesterday. Oh. Or other time. Oh. Yes, oh. yes. So Carla Martinez won. Ma Maria dice, I'm still waiting for my pizza box. Okay, okay. Anna Rosa. I never, Constance, I never won the pizza box. I dream about it. Constance, believe, believe me. If I can, I will send, no, I will send. I will bring you one by one a pizza box to everyone. Glindla, hello. It's me. It's your pizza box. <laughs> Can you imagine, Monica? Come in, you're welcome. <laughs> the pizza boy. I start, I go in the house and we start to crafting together. This could be a nice uh, um, program, a nice show to make. Right. Homer the pizza boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I really wish you 
good luck <laughs> because the pizza box has, has so many interesting products inside yeah they're, they're very full sometimes i see the, the other uh present and, and compared to the pizza box pizza box is very very full linda also is waiting for the pizza box we show <laughs> Le olive alla scolana. Ah, Roberta, di dove sei? Che parliamo di olive alla scolana. Mm. Vediamo. Da Ascoli. <ride> eh, perché anche a Roma, però, ecco, le olive alla scolana è un po' si... Eh sì, sì, io, beh, sai, un po' dappertutto. Mm, would love to have Monica come to San Luis. Wow. USA. Mm. San Luis è... Non so mai... Middle of USA. Erika, toda scriviamo una pizza box di regalo. Io ojalá sia in Navidad. Antes, Erika, che Navidad? Non possiamo aspettare Navidad. Navidad sta... Uh! Leca. A oggi queremos pizza box. <ride> Exacto. Pizza box oggi. Ah, Roberta e Diascoli. Ok, allora ci fidiamo delle tue olive. Portaci. <laughs> Constant say, you know, Omar, I'm pregnant and my baby kicked me and tell me <laughs> you want the pizza box. <laughs> Probably, I think, uh, I don't know if it's a baby or, or um, uh, a boy or, or a lady, but she will come out uh, with some sign on the skin like pizza or, or the Stamperia logo <laughs> with a dog. Okay. Intanto, uh, in the meantime, I'm placing also these uh, molds I had already prepared with uh, uh, the mold, uh, which is this one, the same of uh, my necklace, then I will show you. This is the molds uh, of the same uh, range of fashion, same range, and uh, I have already prepared with uh, ceramic powder. So mm -hmm. I'm painting one of them. And uh, I'm adding some lace here just for embellishments. And I'm placing it like this. I'm quite uh, at the end. Don't worry. Yeah. And uh, the. Okay. okay. So this is the lace. And the focus product of this week, Magna, because every Sunday we have a new focus product coming out in the morning. And the focus product of last week was exactly wow. about mold and ceramic powder. Really? Ah. Now I'm going to put it and I'm going to put it at the end of the video. Ah, yes. Why not? We're on the channel of Subscribe our channel. We are live on YouTube too and Instagram. Now in Instagram, we are on the new collection, Ellis uh, Tudor Looking Glass, Ellis 2. Okay, let me check, here we have, let me download this video. Okay, I'm using a ribbon now. Yeah, Caroline, uh, actually on Pinterest, we, we are working on it. The thing is that there are so many social media in the world <laughs> that sometimes I say, okay, another one is coming like Twitch and, say, oh, and I start to say, oh my gosh, we have another social media. <laughs> actually, no, uh, Caroline, uh, the... Pinterest is not counting. We are we are searching in YouTube and Facebook for, for the moment. Ay, mira la Pepe, qué mural este corazón de arco iris que tenemos aquí. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me upload the video. Okay. Uh, some gold on this mold, some ivory as well. Here. Okay. And I'm 
else that they came from. This from the um, scribbled paper. I'm getting a writing. Uh, I would like uh, this. Love what you do. Love what you do. Oh, yes. It's the secrets of life. Yeah. Filomena, ciao. Anche Filomena vuole la sua pizza. Eh? Quindi, casolo, <laughs> pizza e fighi. <laughs> <ride> come si dice a Roma <ride> un arco iris de amor Pepi non necessitiamo tutto basta guerra basta violenza solo amor ok a little bit of 3D behind the writing ah giusto fai salire un po' il tag mi dice Elena grazie Elena muchas gracias, gracias. Uh, Aquí tenemos el código del soft mold. We have the code of soft mold. Ida. You are an angel. You are an angel. Crafty again. Ida. ribbon. Ok, e ci siamo, eh. Ora la nostra tag è stata un po' impegnativa perché avevamo due tecniche di 3D all'interno. Eh, però Monica abbiamo ripassato due tecniche eh. niente male perché abbiamo i fiori, il, la, la, la soft clay e eh, oggi abbiamo fatto il violino, però queste due tecniche Monica te le rivendi in tutte le carte del mondo cioè, sì, certo. so, uh, Monica is saying is telling that okay, the, the, the life is, is uh, lasting more but we, we, um, we use these two 3D techniques they are very nice to learn how to, to place the soft clay behind the rice paper and also the flower so we, we can use these two techniques with all the collection Bellissimo Monica, dice la nostra Silvia dall'Uruguay. <ride> grazie, grazie. Allora, io aggiungerei solo due foglioline in più con, eh, con un pochettino di colore ombra, di mm. ombra color. Eh, io vi dico anche il codice, ma non si legge più. Ah sì, 45. Questo è 45, ombra che mi piace molto, The Tale Love for Leaves, and a little bit of uh, ivory, where is ivory? Ivory. Per fare due piccole foglie in aggiunta. E ci siamo, direi che... Mm -hmm. Abbiamo... Guarda, la Filomena e la Pepi stanno facendo a gara di cuori. <ride> <ride> We have a heart race here. Yanita, <laughs> mira, boom! <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies. You're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy, but we love you. <laughs> okay. Also, this is another technique that needs some test, right? Before you, you manage it with the double color on the brush to make flowers, to make leaves, to make many things. But uh, it's nice to enrich what you already have in the paper. So just sometimes following what is there in the paper. But I think here we are. Yes, I think so. Let's change the camera because you can see it better from another point of view. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Maybe you can see it better like this. See, we can see better. And honestly, Monica, from this view, it looks totally different. It looks, uh, I have no words to say how beautiful is the composition. And the colors, because the, the other camera is not showing the, the colors properly, Monica. Really? 
Really, really. Now it's an explosion of color. Which is uh, nice. Okay. And also, is it the tag is so big that it's not visible. Now we can see the entire composition, and it's lovely how you drive the composition from one corner uh, and the view and into the violin. That is the focal point. It's so beautiful, Monica. Really? Oh, yes, good. It's not bad. Yes, I like it. Okay. <laughs> and this yes. is the same. Uh, the same. Uh, uh, shape you can uh, find here in the molds. You see this one. I had made two holes uh, in the shape uh, with. Uh, you know what you need to make holes uh, in these uh, shapes uh, is screwdriver. Screwdriver. You do this. Uh, you turn, and you perfectly, perfectly can have these uh, holes inside. Then it is made with. Uh, it's uh, silk. It's silk, color the silk here, and that's all. So something that you can make for a special occasion only, and it's quick to do, not uh, expensive <laughs> at all. Absolutely. Gentil, le tue parte, grazie, grazie tante. Finalmente mi dona l'azzurro, grazie. E anche è la seconda oggi che te la dice. The second time it's someone say that the blue is perfect. Lo dicono poi le nostre amiche, io ci credo. Mia, una meraviglia, Monica. Una meraviglia, grazie. Ok, so we learned, we learned, we revised maybe two different. Eccolo, la giada soft clay and the other one with the stone paper so you, if you have something around it choose this technique if you have something like petals and flowers it's better with the stone paper and that's all <laughs> gracias bello mira los comentarios so beautiful como siempre un trabajo precioso dice Elena this piece is beautiful so nice thank you so much I'm happy you like. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, quanti corazon. <laughs> wow. Colorati, che belli. <laughs> quanti belli. Bravo. Mi sto gustando tutti, poi io me li rileggo. <laughs> che meraviglia. Ah, quanti cuori. <laughs> Una gara di cuori. <laughs> so beautiful. I love. Grazie. Meraviglioso. Absolutely. Gentilissime, vi adoro, grazie. Sì, è sempre un piacere, Monica, stare qui. It's always a pleasure to, uh, to stay with oh, our friends. Really, really. Also with you, Roma. We are a special yeah. host for me. <laughs> They're so lovely, so nice. Really, really, really. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Thank you to our friends to stay with us. Just let go easily briefly to the uh, the week what's happening on uh, stampelia so tomorrow uh, we will have maestro radovan uh, molds from the sea so this week is molds passion and alice we have all the weeks dedicated to this one then the day after we have jerry craft room new friends coming we can wait to enlarge the family let your passion be your guide so we wow. play again with passion. And then on Friday, who is this sexy guy? It's me, oh. with Dorota. <laughs> the love of Dorota. The my, girl, which is Dorota, okay. My fairy tale. So we will play uh, with the collection of Dorota. Uh, and then on Saturday, we have the lie with Shemala. Shemala. We will go to Wonderland again with a new collection of Alice. Oh. And it's available on the shop, Alice too. So please, it's coming on the shop. So please go and play with Alice. We are now advertising Alice in Instagram. So if you have Instagram, go right now and follow Stampria pages. It's very important for us. Yes. Monica. Omar. Carini. <laughs> Grazie a te carissimo, un, abbraccio. un bacio a tutte voi, grazie, thanks a lot for following, if you were not here we would, we would have to invent you, <laughs> so thank you, thank you for following.
ti aspettiamo Alda, grazie Letizia tutte le nostre amiche sì, tutto bene thank you so much for this amazing day thank you for um, for staying with us sharing and all the love you give every day so thank you so much see you tomorrow Monica see you tomorrow live with Stampery again un beso grazie un abbraccio ciao 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 focus video of the day <laughs>